You know, they say you never forget your first. And this is the story of my first. Not that first. I'm talking about my first national magazine cover story. Now, over the course of my career, I've had 14 national magazine cover stories, but it really is true. You don't forget your first, because you don't forget any of them. But my first was the Danger Doom cover for Elemental Magazine back in 2005, when the first Danger Doom album was coming out. Uh, this was special for a whole bunch of reasons. And first of all, rest in peace, MF Doom. This definitely was one of the first things that came to mind was my conversation with him all those years ago and just being able to speak with him. So this story came together. I had been working at Elemental for probably around a year contributing to their publication. I was freelancer, so whenever I could get something in there, it was great. And for the better part of a year, I was consistently in every issue. So when they entrusted me for the cover story, I thought, wow, this is, this is huge. Because not only is it Danger Doom, which was a project that was incredibly buzzed about throughout the indie hip-hop world, it, it was basically them saying, we believe in you. We believe you have the ability to put this very important story that's going to be on our cover together. So knowing that, I went into what I call full Bob Green mode. Bob Green was a professor of mine back at Hofstra University. He won two Pulitzers uh, back in the day. This is another rest in peace, Bob Green. Think of you often. And he was a huge investigative journalist. Obviously, this was not investigative journalism. But I said to myself, like, listen, a lot of publications are going to be doing Danger Doom stories. Other than the questions I ask, what can I do to make this one different? What can I do to make this cover story the one that hopefully people remember, or hopefully the one that people say like, wow, I learned something in that one that I didn't know from any others. So well, I got Doom on the phone, spoke with Doom, got Danger Mouse on the phone, spoke with him. And then while going through my brain of what else I could do, I gave Turner Broadcasting a call because the Danger Doom album was in conjunction with Adult Swim on Cartoon Network. So I got in touch with Turner and they got me in touch with somebody from the network who was also involved in the album who could give me a few comments from the Cartoon Network side of things. So I really do feel like with this particular story, I added, it was only like a couple quotes. It wasn't, you know, such a grandiose, hey, look at all these other things. Just a couple quotes. But I really think it made it something uh, special. And I, I hope it was information other people didn't have before about the album and the process. I thought it was really interesting. I just reread the story uh, earlier today, and I gotta say, uh, my writing has gotten better over the years, but I think that that is a given. If you do any craft whatsoever, you're going to get better. That said, I'm still really proud of the work I put in there. I mean, there, there are a couple sentences here and there I would have changed around. Um, as I was reading it, maybe there are a couple other questions I would have asked. Um, it's in the narrative format, so you'll never know my Q&A. And I'll probably never know my Q&A unless I go back in the files on my computer. Uh, but I, I feel like I got some great stuff. There was a really good poll quote in there about Vats of Urine, the song. If you don't know the song, you don't know the Danger Doom album. Uh, so, yeah, it's just that uh, that was my first National Magazine cover story. And it really uh, it set the tone for me for a lot of things in terms of knowing that hard work pays off. I mean... They didn't give me the cover story my first week there. They, they had me wait a long time. They had me submitting a lot of stuff. And then they were like, hey, Danger Doom, we're going to give that one to Adam. And I was like, wow. So, unfortunately, Elemental, like many, many other magazines, is no more. It hasn't been around for a long time. But what a great moment for indie hip-hop, that publication. And uh, I, I don't know if everybody knows this, but when, when Elemental went out of business, um, well, folded. Uh, I started my Artist of the Week feature on my blog, Adam's World, because I felt that indie artists needed a platform, and with Elemental no longer there, uh, they were missing a huge platform. And, you know, I did the Artist of the Week for a whole lot of years, then evolved into other things, the New York City Scene Report, but now I'm talking about my blog, I'm not talking about mag the magazine, so Danger Doom, you never forget your first Elemental Magazine, 2005.
14 National Magazine cover stories total, but that one definitely holds a place in my heart. And rest in peace, MF2. Peace, y'all.